Hello, Bill Molino here for Bill's War Game World, and this is also going on Bill's History World with Goober the Traveling Bear. And you know what time it is? It's time for me to get some book reviews done. And today's book review that Goober is helping me with is Gettysburg in Miniature by Scott L. Mingus Sr. with Tristan S. Mingus, and um, Tristan is Scott's grandson. So this book is The Battle of Gettysburg, and it is illustrated with toy soldiers, miniatures, and dioramas. It's very unique, and uh, so let's go dive into this book, and I'd like to mention that I recently saw Scott, and I do know him somewhat well, and he is one of my favorite authors, and probably one of the most um, knowledgeable Civil War historians of the York, Pennsylvania area, and also um, the Winchester, Virginia battles in the Shenandoah Valley. All right, let's take a look at this book. All right, and guess what? Scott Mingus's book is for sale on Amazon for just a few dollars for the Kindle version. And as you know, like I did for Wayne Mott's fantastic book on Pickett's Charge. We did the um, Kindle version. So here we have our credits coming up. Confederate Infantrymen in 1-6 scale. 1-6 scale, by the way, is basically your uh, uh, G.I. Joe scale. So, dedication. We respectfully dedicate this book with great love and deep appreciation to the Mingus and Brett's families. Thank you for your constant love, support, and encouragement. And this is vintage 1960s 54mm hard plastic Marks Warriors. All right. Well, let's get into this book a bit. Um, we have a lot of neat credits 15 millimeter 54 millimeter 28 millimeter and I'm using the iPad isn't that great so um, what is neat about using the iPad here's all the acknowledgments now I'm not gonna go through them all but um, I would like to point out Ivor for brother against brother Doug Klein he makes great military miniature diorama and wargaming stuff um, you know terrain galore he's like the king of terrain there's a lot of great people here that are wargamers and historians for acknowledgments that helped make this book come to life for Scott and Tristan well as we go along in the book you have an introduction and what I really found interesting is they included the entire order of battle for the entire, you know, Northern Army of Virginia and, of course, the Army of the Potomac. And it's just neat to see everything done in miniature form. And I'm flipping really fast. I apologize. So here we have Robert E. Lee in 132nd scale. All right, so one of the, uh, you know, I can't say enough, but the the miniatures, they span everything from 15 millimeter up. And what is nice about the Kindle version is it's all here at your fingertips. You can't say anything about the font. Now in the actual book itself is we have the book also. Um, if you're to buy the, the book, the font is really nice. I mean, it's not micro reading. Um, the illustrations are fantastic in the book form. Um, I have both the book and the iPad version. I love the iPad version because I have some eyesight issues and I can expand my print. So, the uh, he covers the entire Battle of Gettysburg, but what's neat is he covers 
you know, the campaign, the entire march to Gettysburg, um, you know, the clash out through Greencastle. Uh, it's the entire action of the Gettysburg campaign, not just the battle itself. Um, so I'm just flipping through pages. I'm going to pause for a moment. All right, everyone. Um, it took me a second to find it, but here it is. Um, the Bliss Barn detail from the Battlefield Monument, the 12th New Jersey. And as you all know, I spent over a week playing the Bliss Farm, and I have yet to pick it up. And I sure wish some of you guys or gals lived close by to help me uh, clean the battlefield. So, Culp's Hill. And it's really nice that Scott included the Bliss Farm. Uh, it's a pivotal, very pivotal part of the Battle of Gettysburg that sometimes is neglected. Um, I just love the pictures. Um, lots of maps. Here we have, this is really neat. Um, let me enlarge this. We have Pickett's Charge in the Emmitsburg Road. Really cool. Now, as you see, um, Pettigrew's soldiers reach the Union lines. Union artillery blasted huge gaps in the Union line, or Confederate lines, excuse me. All right, well, here we have Armistead with Confederate uh, general leading the brigade in miniature form. And, um, you know, I did the uh, book review on Pickett's Charge, and I have the Pickett's Charge game. So here we have the high water mark. Here's Alonzo Cushing's gun battery. And um, hopefully the uh, hit the camera there. Let's see here. East Calvary Field. Now I lived right by East Calvary Battlefield for just about 20 years, roughly, give or take a few months or a year. And um, a lot of people don't actually check it out. But the Rummel's Farm, and uh, Scott's written a scenario book for it. Let's keep flipping. Here's our map for the... And I was just here just the other day. And here's Fitzhugh Lee up here. And the remote control airplane field is right here. Um, and Walmart and Harley-Davidson's and uh all that's over here way over here <laughs> all right yeah goober the traveling bear isn't very helpful well i can't say enough about this um it really is a fantastic book printed in 2019 and i was just was with scott at one of his lectures two weeks ago one of the best lectures i've ever heard and uh, you have an opportunity to see uh, Mr. Scott Mingus and one of his lectures, Well Worth the Drive. Um, so, he's also written a book on the uh, railroads. And he has several books that are out for the Underground Railroad. So, um, we're going to close this out. This is a sort of a, a Goober Bill book review. Uh, you know, I have a lot of Scott Mingus books, and his books are really good. They read nice, um, they flow fantastic, and I'm going to try to review several of them um, in the next couple weeks because my goal is to try to do book reviews. So, Gettysburg in miniature, and I think it's $2.99 on Amazon for Kindle. And it, it's a fantastic read of the battle, but includes the entire campaign in the beginning and uh, well worth the money, both in paperback and Kindle. Goober gives it several paws up, of course. Um, so, uh, and of course, paw up. Laugh, life is short. And uh, 
just love goofing around with you know goober as the historian and uh, we're going to close this out with this coming weekend we will be at the old stone fort in Schoharie, new york near albany the movie drums along the mohawk with henry fonda is based on that fort and it's a church also so believe it or not goober and i will be up there um not sure with my wife she's may have um, other plans that's it stay safe be kind be courteous to everyone you encounter and uh, thank you for watching please subscribe and don't forget all the money i make off my youtube channel i donate um, to a historic site each time youtube pays me and last month it was the css news and this month or whenever youtube pays me it will be going to the Maryland Veterans Museum in La, pa La Plata, Maryland. Thank you again. 